Hey guys, today we're going to do Incredible Hulk featuring Doc Samson, uh, number 380 by Marvel Comics. And um, so the Hulk doesn't appear in this comic as all, in, at all. So I thought to myself when I saw this cover, hey, cool, Doc Samson gets the spotlight and he's going to battle some cool villain or something. But then when I read the story, it actually took me by surprise what actually is happening uh, happening in this, this comic. And uh, yeah, I'm... Um, I'm going to show you, of course, but first, guys, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications, please like this video if you actually liked it, and I hope you do, and uh, yeah, leave a comment if you will, that would help, thank you. So, moving on, uh, we see this woman here called Crazy8, um, you know, getting food because she is on death row, and there's a reason for that. Um, it seems that she has killed a senator. And that senator was, you know, um, going up for presidency or something. And there's a mob outside, outside of this prison. And um, as you can see here, and then this woman here, uh, she's actually the widow of the, of the senator. And um, yeah, before I get into this part, we see a little bit of, you know, the crew with Betty and Rick and Marlo and... Um, I didn't know at first, but this is um, the ringmaster from the Circus of Crime. And, of course, Doc Samson. Um, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the art, but the story is written by Peter David, so you know it's going to be good. Um, and what happened to Marlo, by the way? I mean, I haven't seen her in ages. Well, maybe that's because they are, don't do anything significant with Rick Jones nowadays, except that he is now part of a the Immortal, story, Immortal Hook storyline now, but Marlo, where is she? I don't know. Marlo was a cool character, by the way. So, uh, what happened? Nick Fury uh, needs to talk to Samson, and they are going to fly away in this helicopter. And um, also, he has a black eye. And it seems that, um, well, this story uh, is in between that, uh, well, the, the, the Hulk is now being the smart Hulk. Hulk. So all the personalities has been come together he became the smart hulk and he has been kidnapped by the pantheon nick fury who knows who the pantheon is um but then uh nick says hey um you know uh, you have an appointment at the state pen with uh, with crazy eight and uh yeah 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 i forgot about that he uh, he says and then um the doc samson says i feel like i hardly know her at all and then nick the real nick fury yes this is the real nick fury um, he says, that's pretty funny, consider your testimony was the final nail in her coffin. And then we switch a little bit to, um, well, to, um, I don't know where he is now, but he is, uh, I believe, at the prison, uh, I mean, Samsung, and he is talking to the district attorney, and he is basically telling uh, who Crazy Aid is and how he, she came into prison and what her background is, and then it reveals that she is, you know, killing bad guys so he's basically a female punisher but then you know real killing her and then she had a battle with wonder man and um oh man look at this remember this art it's cool uh <laughs> and this looks like basically hilarious i mean look at the wonder man's face he seems that he's actually enjoying you know being tied up by uh by crazy eight but uh eventually uh he got her uh not without a struggle and uh, to me, as, to be honest, I don't know who Crazy Eight is, what her powers are. I know that she has a sword that can cleave through anything or something that's really strong, and that she has probably superpowers. Otherwise, she couldn't take on, you know, Wonder Man. Um. So, and Doc Samson says, "What do you need me for? You got her, right?" And um, it seems that the shrink that you know. Um, that she has hired or something that she is giving through the government. I'm not, I'm not sure how the jurors, jurors, how does all, <laughs> I'm sorry, my English is so, so bad. Jurisdictional procedure. Is that how you say it? Not entirely sure. I'm not sure how it all works, but it seems that, um, her shrink is dead because he had a heart attack or something. And, um, this, uh, this man, this, um, I said, the district attorney says, hey, uh, you need to step in, Dr. Sampson. Nine of the juries are women. They listen to a good-looking, hum hunky, high-profile man like you. It'll carry weight. 
Okay, so is that how it goes in America? <laughs> it seems a little bit weird, but hey. Um, Samson says, hey, I need to talk to her first. And then he says, done. And then uh, he talks to her alone. And basically, um, he wants to analyze her, huh? why, why she did it and why she killed the uh, the the famous guy. Why, what's, why am I forgetting? The, 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 the senator, Ray Hadwell. That's that's his name. But she doesn't he doesn't get a clear answer. And it seems that she is, you know, tries to seduce her, or he tries she tries to seduce him, but it doesn't work. Um, but I think she actually likes Samson when I read through the comic. And then she says um that she has been possibly in her in her youth being, you know, um abused, uh raped, uh, probably. And that she has, you know, gone crazy and that she wants to... She, she basically calls herself a um, trash collector. So she gets off on that. I mean, but I think that's all, you know, posture and, and bragging and not actually the reason why she is killing, you know, bad people. Um, she wants to, you know... She's, like I said, something like a punisher. So Samson doesn't really, you know, get through to her. And um, he, she says, um, you kill underworld figures, criminals. They weren't convicted of any crime. I convicted them. And the senator, and then she says nothing. Didn't like his politics. So Leslie, do you think she's crazy? And then she burns herself and he says, yeah, I'm crazy. Crazy about you, Lenny. And then she's leaving. Um, but she also tells the story that she carved, uh, so she drew a um, the infinity symbol. And she says, I carved that in my first victim. But then somebody on, on the crime TV scene says that it looked like a, uh, a crazy age carved on his chest, on the on the victim's chest, and that, that stuck with her. So she called herself at some point crazy age because he was, uh, she was, you know, her, her her first super villain name was, you know, Infinity because bad things never end. It always continues. So, um, Len Samson is going to testify against her and she, he says that she was fully aware of what she is doing and she's getting the death row. So a moment later, she's get you know, her head shaved and he wants to get a, a, long, a time alone with her and, you know, see the crazy people with nooses outside it's, it's crazy stuff and then um, then we see this scene and this was a very you know not really touching scene but you know gave some insight to what she's going through so D Samson asked her again oh, why did you do it and then she says you are really cute Lenny self-righteous and a, and a little thick but cute and she says you still want some neat packaged explanation, some incident or trauma that made me what I am. But, but maybe this then. Maybe I decided this world is someplace I don't want to be. But I was too gutless to leave it myself. So I figured I'd give them a reason to set me off. And trash a few bad guys on the way out. Happy. Or maybe just that word. Maybe it's just what we are, Lenny. And that's all. Except it never is. So... Yeah, that actually very powerful. So she's getting sent off by, um, you know, it, 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 it's let's say it's it's she's going, you know, they've taken her to the chair, and then she decides to back out. She wants to escape, and then um, Land is standing in her way. She said, "I changed my mind. Please help me escape." Uh, we we can we can run together something like that, but you know Len says I'm going to show you a lot of pages because I think it's very impactful and powerful. He stops her and he says and she says Lenny help me please help me escape I do anything for you please please and then he says I'm I'm sorry and then she collects herself and says No it's okay I just lost that for a minute electric chairs what a thrill huh and then we see this. She puts on, you know, she lend, you know, can take it and he, he walks away and then we see her getting electrocuted to death and that is exactly what's happened and she's gone. 
And I think this this scene in combination with this here, that's that made me yeah. I think that's a very powerful, intense scene. And then Len noticed that the 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 wife um, of the senator says it should have been me. It should have been me. She said, and then she shows him the picture that he and Crazy Eight are friends, and then it seems that the senator was beating her and that's why she has a bruised face the whole time but the Im implication was is that crazy eight did this to her but it wasn't crazy eight was the the person that was hired uh, by this this woman and then he realizes what what happened and he is feeling incredibly bad and then and of course he he, she says, I told her that he was killing me. She said she'd take care of it. I'd offer to pay her. She wouldn't take the money. I caught her to kill him. I should have died with her. And I didn't tell, and I didn't tell anyone. I was too scared. And then he walks away. And this is very powerful also this year as well. And then we see all these nutcases going out. And they are ranting. Hey, did she dance so good? Did she squeal at the end? And then... Um, Samson picks him up and says, and throw him to the wall and she, you need to shut up, you need to shut up. And then, no, she didn't squeal. And then he walks away and he said, because it never ends. And it's basically the end of the book. I, I didn't see this, this coming at all. I thought this was a superhero, you know, brawling comic, you know, like we have for many, many years. But this, this turned really dark at the end. And I, I actually liked it. It, it's, it made me pause for a bit. So, yeah, this is a great comic. I did, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's, let's stop on this note. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a like, and I'll see you next time.